Hi everyone, Syndra here. Welcome back to XCOM 2. Now that we have some supplies, we can start the psionic gate research, and I think we're gonna do that. Encryption progress normal. Okay. That'll take five days. The supply drops in one. We'll be able to get some more stuff. Alien alloys, not now. Um I guess we'll go back and gain intel. Setting course for Sector 14, East Asia. East Asia. Got an urgent communication coming in for you now, Commander. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. Avatar progress reduced five. <laughs> Side gate recovered one. An extra retaliation strike imminent. Uh, I'm gonna have to deal with that. This didn't hit. Something happened. I don't remember pushing it back somehow. Well, that's good. What are you? Nope! <laughs> I still don't want this to happen. <laughs> Breakthroughs. And then get some time back. Oh, no. We'll stop the major breakthrough. This will hurt, but we've almost bought everything. So we're good there. And the faceless aliens are annoying. But a new facility in one week, so that'll give them a, a point. Now get a point for the natural progress. And the retaliation strike we'll have to deal with. Which I'm gonna go fly over here to get supplies, and then it's gonna gonna hit anyway. But first Avenger plotting new course. I'm gonna take a look. Market is open. We have 50 intel. Um. Superior expanded magazine. That's pretty cool to me. Superior laser sight. I don't really need anything else, even the supplies, because we can go grab the supplies, but. I mean, any of that really. I really feel like we need right now. Um. I'll buy the expanded magazine. That interests me. And I'll give it to somebody. Let's fly Avenger to the supply drop. New course. And then fly back somewhere for the retaliation strike. <laughs> well, at least we got some of the supplies. Oh good, we got all the supplies. Your staff available. I'm kind of surprised by that, honestly. <laughs> we saw plenty of contacts. Power is good. Um, I don't know. Let's finally build the plasma lance. Hooray! Now we have it. <laughs> And that's that's really about it. Um, we can not recruit. Um, I never did, <laughs> never did this stuff, and I should have. Critically hit enemies, attacks it, deal plus three damage. Yep, let's buy that. Hunter's Instinct. PSC bar significantly improved. I'd like to have that too. Plus three mobility could have been really cool. I needed to buy more of this stuff earlier. Explosives can inflict critical damage. Let's buy that for the Grenadier. That'll be good. 
And I'll get the rest later if we have time to do so. All right. Now, it's back to the HQ. Setting course for East Asia. Now that we got that. Pass some time. Paid to do this. But you're the only one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? Whoa, are you seeing this? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. Doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secure beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. Couldn't name hieroglyph. to autopsy the body of the powerful being we recovered, commander. I feel that we may be on the cusp of attaining a complete understanding of this avatar we have long sought. I agree, Tygen. Is that how you spell hieroglyph? It doesn't look right to me. I mean, it's a code name. You could have it however you want, but isn't it I E R O? Like Egyptian hieroglyphs? That's probably right, and I'm I'm completely wrong. Oh man, this is long, <laughs> and it's already scrolled without me. Um, we'll have to wait for it to reset. Just give it a bit. <laughs> Although the logistic concerns involved in transporting a large piece of potential unsta potentially unstable alien technology were difficult to manage, they were easily dwarfed by the risk involved in attempting to operate this device within the confines of the adventure. Although Shin and I both had our concerns, given the directives of our operation, we saw little alternative but to begin experimenting on this gateway as soon as possible. After a period of slow, deliberate power increases, accompanied by the appropriate level of monitoring, we felt comfortable enough to leave the gateway operating in its idle state. At that point, we conducted a series of simple tests on various objects to better understand how the aliens used the device for transportation. Initially, we saw no means of actually putting the gateway into an active state. That is to say, the gateway itself seemed to disregard or ignore the objects we passed through. 
Having studied the Alien Codex and its ability to open rifts in the field for deployment, we theorize the gateway may be tied to a similar signal, or key, integrated into the Codex itself. Sure enough, by mirroring the frequencies found in close proximity to the Codex, we found that the gateway itself enters a second, active condition. Shin was hesitant to regulate her pet gremlin to use in our experiment, but she recognized the value of having a remote test subject, and we had no other units available to spare. Unfortunately, our initial theories as to the gateway function overlooked the possibility that it was also tied to the biological components of the Codex. Shin's personal gremlin suffered some relatively minor damage during our test, but its sacrifice led to an important revelation in terms of how we might access this gateway and discover its source. Richard Teigen. With that, we can now research the Avatar Corpse. That'll take five days. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. I believe we have found our avatar. We had such hope for you. <laughs> Not great. Yeah, I just take off the mask too. Like, all right. <laughs> So I saw that. <laughs> That'll be done in five days. There's the retaliation strike. Where? Berserker, Elite Trooper, Archon Viper, Gatekeeper, Codex Elite Officer, Elite Lancer. The Gatekeeper's not fun. Neither is the Berserker, but I think I could uh, mind control the Berserker. It's got to have no will. <laughs> or very little. Then we could just have the Berserker go run something down. So that's what it does. That'd be fun. Um, we're gonna have to do that and try to save people, because that's what we do. Setting course for the South African sector. And then fly back. So that way we have something to scan. There's no idle scan that I've seen, or maybe I've just ignored it, but it feels like I have to have something to scan, which means that there's, there's all that time I'm losing while I'm flying back and forth. I'm probably gonna take both Grenadiers, could take Kelly, could take Dark Fox. I think I'll take both Grenadiers, we'll have some fun with explosives. Plasma Blaster, and the, uh, Blaster Launcher. I haven't really tried the Plasma Blaster. It's like the, uh, like the Null Lance, if you remember. What else are you carrying? I would rather you have the Acid Bomb for the Shred. I think you were carrying Gas Grenade. Yeah, Gas Bomb. Slowing them down and doing damage over time, but that's only for, uh, organic units. I never gave anybody the Talon rounds. Who would want Talon rounds? We'll go with this. The uh, Grenadiers have that. Uh, their grenades can critically hit now, which is cool. And. Both side operatives for some uh, taking of enemy mines <laughs> and various other attacks. Now they are just, they are super scary to me. Between, now that they have all the powers, between soul fire, which is insta damage, um, fuse, which you can blow up a grenade for guaranteed damage, the huge null lance damage that can't miss as long as they're in the reticle. Um, stasis to take something out of the fight. They have far exceeded 
they far exceeded my expectations. <laughs> In my best council voice. <laughs> um, excellent. They they just take time. That's the only thing about the Psy Operative. They just take time to learn all their abilities. But once they have them, they are some of the most dangerous units you're going to have. I think. Really quick. We get to see the uh, the rifle. That's cool looking. The uh, plasma lance. It's still a shame that I can't upgrade the uh, uh, three slots now. Awesome, you get three slots. Uh, it's a shame I can't upgrade the the pistol because I really would like to do that. I want to give it something though, just because. Miss shot still do one damage. I guess I don't know. I haven't done much with the upgrades either to the weapons. Um, other than desk. Oh, that's right. We got that available slot for everybody. I never did anything with that. Um. Yeah. Bonus chance. Do that. I forgot everybody's got that extra extra weapon upgrade now. Um, scope, hair trigger, superior expanded magazine by three. I want to put that on the shotgun. I'm putting that on the shotgun. Um, maybe miss shots still do too. Miss shots still do too. We'll do that. And is this panic and psionic attacks? I'm gonna give this to SD for when he's not using a mind shield and I have him like have a skull jack or something. We'll do that. Um, think we're good. I don't know exactly how this this uh, time timed out in terms of me like editing stuff. So this is either um, see you next time or the episode's going to continue. I'm not sure until I start editing. <laughs> either way, mission time. <laughs>